Hey, little kitty, come here. Let me show you something. Oh, what's this? It's a telephone. <laughs> Where's the screen? <laughs> it's not the modern cell phone, but the OG phone that kick-started the communication revolution. So today, let me tell you the story behind the inventor of the telephone. Zoom in! Long before the telephone, people used various mediums like letters, telegraphs, envoys and even pigeons to deliver messages from one place to another. But these modes of communication were oftentimes unreliable and at their very best, very slow as it took days or even weeks to receive them. But everything was destined to change on 3rd March 1847 with the birth of Alexandra Graham Bell in Edinburgh, Scotland. Bell grew up as a curious child and learned the science of speech from his father, Alexandra Melville Bell, who worked as a speech therapist. At the same time, Bell showed a good talent for art, poetry and music that was encouraged by his mother, Eliza Grace Simmons Bell, who unfortunately suffered from deafness. This had a profound impact on his life. So, by the time he was 18, he became determined to help people struggling with hearing loss and devoted much of his life to this cause. Later, in 1871, at age 24, Bell immigrated to the United States, where he continued to pursue his interest in speech and hearing by working as a teacher for the deaf and spent many years experimenting with different devices, working hard to find the right combination of materials and technologies that would permit him to transmit sound through wires like the telegraph. Then between 1873 and 1874, Bell worked on his harmonic telegraph based on the principle that several different notes could be sent simultaneously along the same wire if the notes or signals differed in pitch. It was during this time Bell's interest sailed to an even more revolutionary idea. The possibility that not just the telegraph's dots and dashes, but the human voice itself could be transmitted over wires. Then Bell hired a skilled electrician named Thomas A. Watson to work together on bringing the idea of the telephone to reality. Then, on the 2nd of June, 1875, while experimenting with his harmonic telegraph, Watson was trying to loosen a reed wire that had been curled around a transmitter and plucked it by accident. The vibration produced by Watson's act traveled through the wire into a second device in the other room where Bell was working and twang! came the sound of the bell as the inspiration the duo needed to accelerate their work. Finally, in 1876, Bell discovered the secret to transmitting speech over a distance and managed to invent the telephone. Then on March 7, 1876, after a long battle in court, the patent office awarded Bell the patent for transmitting vocal or other sounds telegraphically. And three days later, on March 10th, 1876, Bell famously succeeded in getting his telephone to work and revolutionize the way we communicate. Today, the telephone has evolved into cell phones and has become a part of our daily lives. So, let's thank Alexander Graham Bell for giving us one of the greatest inventions of all time, the telephone. Trivia!
on time! Did you know Ahoy was the original telephone greeting? Yes, Bell proposed Ahoy as used in ships, but later, Thomas Edison suggested replacing it with Hello, which we use even today while talking over cell phones. Speaking of which, if you want to know who invented cell phones, please check our video on the same topic. Sketching time! Today, the sketch of the day goes to 7 years old Bhavya. Hope you had fun today. Until next time, it's me, Dr. Binox, zooming out. Oh, who was it, Kitty? I don't remember. Never mind. <laughs>